Okay, ladies out there, tell all your male friends I need to get them fostering. <laughs> it's like one man for every nine women. That's true. That's true. It's like we have a friend who's got, um, who has a son who's a dancer. And he's got so many girlfriends. It's like uh, all the other guys, you think they're in football and they're in whatever. And he picked the best, the best possible sport <laughs> for access to ladies. And they love him. And he's a good dancer. So that you're like the ballerina of the kitten world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> someone, uh, someone asked me last night, he's like, so what, what, what did you do to be surrounded by all these women all the time? <laughs> it's like, I foster kittens. Yeah, I know. So he was like, ooh. Uh-huh, see? The best kept secret. You could sell like a, a dating book for men, <laughs> or like a, an on like an ebook that they download for twenty bucks, and it would just be like one page long. How to foster cats? Mm -hmm. But don't go in it for the sole purpose of finding women. <laughs> Disclaimer. Yeah, <laughs> it's all about the kittens. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, so cute. They said you're single, but not sure you're available, I and that a you're nice looking. <laughs> I am available. <laughs> I'm just kind of hard to approach sometimes. <laughs> Ooh, someone's beating up my leg. She's like, oh, he's touching me now. <laughs> She's in total play mode right now. She's so cute. She's so like, cute. I'm going to breach your clothes. I'll put holes in everything. I know. Look at those eyes. I'm impressed. I know, maybe it's time for a little podicure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. One thing that's... One drawback for fostering is like... As far as meeting women, is that... Is a, they asked me how many cats. You know, this happened last night too. It's like at the, at laps. I was like, how many cats do you have? Seven. Ooh. <laughs> um, She's like, okay, then all right, okay. I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, like big house. Yeah. Um, that's funny. I think any of these ladies would be would love it. Now you have all the cats. Which one do you need? No, I'm good. I'm okay. going to wait and see who comes by. Don't kill them. Somebody else has to wear this later. <laughs> Bleached and washed. You have two wash cycles. Oh, that's a fun game. <laughs> You've attracted some more attention. <laughs> oh. Charity's so cute. Weakness for the monochrome cats, the single colors. Oh, so cute. And uh, then I have a weakness for tuxedos. There's like all the cats that I really did not have a drawing towards, I'd foster them, and then I totally had a yeah. calling for them. And tuxedos, color colors. Yeah. Yes. You're really cute. Should I spot treat your ear? Maybe I should. What day is it? Okay, you guys can all see you. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. 
I'm gonna get some lime sulfur and do a little Ooh. spot treatment. Fun times. You are gonna love it. Oh yeah. Bring out the matches. <laughs> Yeah, Kim was telling me yesterday that she hates the smell of matches and the sulfur dip is the same smell. Oh, and yeah. oh the purrs. You want to join in, huh? I got room for one more. Just your size. You know, you're making sure your fit sister's face is clean. We have a tongue sticking out right here. It's just my tummy. That's just chili washing up. He doesn't like the sound of water and it formed a chain just you and I just you and I you guys playing back there they're wrestling You like that, huh? Big purrs. Oh, no, no. Oh, those are clean. Okay. Uh, have to readjust. My legs are hurt. Busted my knee a few years ago and can't sit Indian style for very long or cross legged. Hop on up. The Q-tips on the floor are clean. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, dive in, everyone. <laughs> So graceful. Nobody could see that. <laughs> she was totally graceful. Don't listen to Yeah, her. yeah. That's right. That's right. Oh, guess what? Guess what? Whoa. I caught myself no less than probably a dozen times about ready to kiss on I was like, oh. I know. You, I know. It's mm-hmm. A dangerous. Dangerously cute. Well I think like getting my mustache infected and then I'll just like <laughs> go up to certain people and it's like I'm French and you know, like yeah. kiss on the cheeks and all that. And oh yeah. That would be a great <laughs> a great weapon. Contract to hire. <laughs> How's that fragrance? Mm, very manly. <laughs> it is very manly. I like you don't mind when I do this one. There's the egg smell. No, mm -hmm. I want omelets. I <laughs> know. You need brunch. You need it to stop at a. We stopped at McDonald's on the way home last night. It was good. Otherwise, I'd be experiencing even more flu-like symptoms this morning. Uh, <laughs> I'm just feeling exhaustion. Yes. It was a... What time did you leave? I don't even remember. I don't even know what time I got home. It was probably around mid, mid 12.30 or 1.00. You probably left shortly before that. Yeah, I, I think it was like close, around 12.30. Gave you a hug, good night, and it was like going no upstairs. I remember that, I remember. I think I stayed later this year than I stayed last year. Yeah, you did. I, I forget who we had here last time. But I think, But I think we had Ringworm last year too. Ringworm. Every year at this time. Every time I do that, he looks at me and is like, I like you. <laughs> Take me home. Don't make me stay here. With that imposter ginger kitten that keeps coming over. Where are you going? I think it's your little bald spots. And then you'll get, oh, see, look at that. That's good. And kittens are not supposed to have bald spots. No. Unless you're there, Sphinx. <laughs> and there one big bald spot. That's one of my uh, fostering wish lists is like to foster a Sphinx. Oh, yeah. Right I've never it. seen one in one of our shelters. I haven't either. I Just know. on the internet. Just a ways of awareness with breeding that the kittens are not ugly. <laughs> no, they're so cute. But they must not be like there's like Bengal gets rendered all the time, but, but they must have like really good personalities because otherwise we would see them in shelters. Yeah, they do. Hey, don't make that. It's probably gross. So many people underestimate the energy level of a Bengal. Yes. Yes, they do. Where are you going? Why not done it? Is that comfy on your sister there? Your sisters make the best pillows? Yeah, it's like when I heard that one lady was putting Felicity and her kittens, I was like, you are never going to sleep again. I know, I know. And she, she had applied just for the kittens. And I was like, no pressure, but did you consider? That was awesome of her to do that. I know, yeah. I know. And she was totally like, well, I, I think whatever's best for them would be great. And I think it's been so nice because Felicity obviously loves being with them. 
And that was probably very smart on her, I was just considering all the energy they have, they can, mm -hmm. they can take care of each other. Yeah, exactly. And Felicity can keep teaching them the manners that they will need, because she's got such a great personality. That's right, kitties. My lap is made of worms and no medicine. I know. <laughs> Clearly, some one of us is winning the PR battle <laughs> and one of us is losing. <laughs> Clearly. She's losing. <laughs> She's totally losing. This kitten does not want to stay. <laughs> oh. Oh no, where are you going? <laughs> it's so hard to get this stuff like t to soak into the hair because it just it's like, like kitten fur, it's naturally repels liquid. Too. Yeah, it's like a, they're like ducks. I remember you bringing in a uh, feral kitten, it's like trying to give them a bath. And yeah, stuff. it just, it just it came out dry. Yeah, and then they're dry. That did not do any good. That's another bit of fur trivia for you guys. It's like cats, the fur, the, the, their fur will condition itself to their environment. A cat that is outside will have a much thicker undercoat and the, the hairs that's on the outside of the coat repels water better. Cats that are indoors do not have that protection. So that's another reason why you should never ever dump a cat. That's right. They have no skills for surviving outside and they're their own coat cannot protect them. Plus it's mean. It's very mean. <laughs> I know. Charity says it's mean like this. This will help you get better faster. She's the cutest. I know. She's so cute. She's like, okay, just get it over with. I know. The one she doesn't mind is the one on her cheek. But that one's actually looking much better. Because you're also pinning her cheek at the same time. I know, she likes this one. Here we go, three kittens at once. Petting. See, if you foster kittens, you could have this too. Just lay around and... Yeah. Kittens everywhere. Disclaimer that if it's <laughs> best that if you have your own cats, to have a room set up dedicated for fostering. Without carpet. Without carpet. If you have <laughs> carpet, do like I did, put down rubber towels. Oh, that's smart. And I still need to finish covering the room. That's why most of the rooms only is fenced off. Just the rubber towel area. Right. Right. Because kittens, as cute as they are, they do not come potty trained. They will destroy the carpet. Right. And they don't always come free of viruses and ringworm and other worms. I've been fortunate on the ringworm department. I have not had ringworm oh, yet. You are lucky. I never had it for a, the first, well, I guess it was only a year that I didn't have it. Oh, yeah, are you so mad? I'm almost done. Yeah, she's like, I am done here now. I know, she's like, you're not almost done. You are done. I like you're gonna get better so much faster. If I get, but all I have to get all of your spots. Let's see. I think I got. I think I got enough. Oh no, there's one more. One more. Your outfit's all yellow now. I know. Now I'm just as pretty as you are, and you smell just as good. Okay. Now you can go snuggle. There's a spot warmed up for you. <laughs> I can put your medicine on the other kittens. Yeah. By proxy. You can smell the. You smell wonderful. Don't listen to what anybody <laughs> tells you. Oh, I just flicked it into my <laughs> face. <laughs> An ear catapult. Uh, there she goes. Oh. You are safe now. I know. Now you get to be the good human. Mm, now they'll the think bad. that men are the best. Exactly. This is part of their socialization. I'm sacrificing myself. 
he's just purring the whole time. Oh, and look whose ears haven't been cleaned yet today. Alright, let's see. You look pretty good. He had a lesion. His lesions were weird. They were not. They didn't look like. They didn't actually look like lesions until we looked under the black light. Ooh. Okay, got your whole belly. Oh, are you ready to go? Oh, there's some here. <laughs> Poor little. There. You guys get to go home once you get cured wherever home is. You feel good, right? Should we take a break and clean your ears? Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Oh, where are you going? They're not too bad. My socks are contaminated in three, <laughs> two. Yep. If you recently joined, I'm just going to throw these socks away. I got like half, I got a dozen <laughs> of them at home. Uh, that's good. Last night, uh, I was like showing my support for Team Shelly by wearing mismatched socks. <laughs> that was the best. They were both gray, but they had different patterns. So unless you were looking closely at my socks, you wouldn't notice. <laughs> that was awesome. There were some good costumes last night. Yes, there were. I saw two other hats like mine, but we all were sitting far apart from each other, so. So it was okay. Yeah. They were made slightly different. Though. They were the Canadian version. Oh, look at that. Wow, big duck chunk. <laughs> That will feel good to have out of there. So stinky. Oh, what are you doing? Are you scratching? Such a good boy. Well, I better keep an eye on the time. What time is it? One eighteen. What time are you heading back? Oh, whenever we're I guess whenever we're done, it's like I can. No rush. I'll do it. I'll tell my son to take the bus. <laughs> take the bus. I'm out of here. Um, cause I, so I have, someone is coming by. I told him I'd advise him. Otherwise, I, you know, I was like, depending on what time, how things worked here time-wise, I was like, I, I would either text him, tell him to take the bus at 2.30 or I'd be home by 4.30. Yeah. 4.30 might be questionable, depending on how the line at the border is. Right. If you take the, um, uh... Linden border crossing, it's usually pretty good. That's the one that's closest to here? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that's planning. And they have, I haven't been there since it got reopened, like they changed it around, I think. So maybe it will be. Like the last two years I came up here and it's like, they have really weird, I guess it's to help to, um, anybody rushing through to get confused, not know where it's way to go. Yeah. I was totally not rushing through and I still, both years, I would end up where they ha have all the guys with the, uh, assault rifles oh. for the extended searches, and, uh -huh. and I pull up, and they're like, "Why are you here?" Oh yeah. And it's like, turn around. And they, like, where you came. They're like, they like treat you as if you did that intentionally. 
As if you would opt for the yeah. machine gun line. <laughs> Light that AT. There. Good job. Good job. This year I made sure it's like, okay, that guy, I'm following that guy in front of me. Yeah. The guy in the car. Come here. Let me see your little ears. Is. Your spot's still available, boy. <laughs> You've got some scratching to do. He turns white. Come here, boy. I know, I know. It's so mean. It's so mean. Let's just hug. You should have stayed with me. I know. You had such a good thing going. I'm like a safe zone over here. <laughs> I'm more nice to the ladies. Cat. Oh, she's so squirmy. Hi. Here, how a dick. Good boy. Your nose looks blue. Look at her blue nose. Wow. It does look blue. Like, great blue. Oh, she's a sulfur nose. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, she's like a little ballerina. I want to kiss you. Oh, look, she wants you to. She's trying to suck you in. I'll give you the worm. Let me give you the worm. It gets the, the other kitten's spot treatment. That'd be the recovery ward. There we go. That's a good name. <laughs> That's right. The, the waiting room and recovery ward. Mm. They can help our lucky because they have regrowth. See her better. Hey George, come on George, come here George. Hi kittens. Ugh. I'm gonna call you George. I'm gonna call you Beth. I'm gonna call you Beth, and I'm gonna call you Beth. Hey. How are you? You're so cute. Come here. <sighs> yep, it's nap time. Mm-hmm. Can go find me some coffee. Mm-hmm. I know it's yep. I need coffee each you, day. You can have a nap at the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> There's two rest stops in between. <laughs> That's good. Like, uh, I looked at the top of the wall here and it's like I saw a streak across and it's a tape residue but I was like, is that poop? Oh yeah, I know that that's the downside to using duct tape for everything. Yeah. It takes the paint off the walls and off the floors and it leaves residue that's impossible to get off. There, look at that. I am killing your ringworm. Killing it. You are welcome. So was it Dr. F's seat that I had yesterday? Um, well, they had, they, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she is actually in uh, Florida doing an ultrasounding seminar. Cool. Which is great for us because one of the things she was learning was like how to, try to tell ages of, uh, fetal ages so that she can give us a better idea of, although we were pretty accurate with the last, with starlings, but there's an actual technique to like measure them. Interesting. Mm-hmm. 
like the crown to rump ratio or some such. Hi. You're doing a lot of purring. What are you doing? Let me see. Hi. Yeah. Let me see where you go oh, there. Did you get them in your eye? Big purrs. Adorable. Oh, look at your armpit. Oh, thanks for giving me access. That's a good lesion right there. Oh my, look at that. I should send, too bad I can't send a picture of that. That's a very classic. ring-shaped lesion that wasn't there yesterday. Oh, fun. <laughs> I'll bag up your phone next time and go in, over there. I know. That's what I need to do. Good boy. And you, I need, we need to get you guys into your own room so that you stop infecting your new friends over there. You like having your armpit soaked. You check your other armpit. That may be that may be my next visitor. Trying to limit where the areas I scratch my face from the shoulders up as I touch my shoulders and my hands. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Your the face. I always am itchy in my face, and then I touch it, and then it's all over. Maybe I haven't gotten it yet. In this round. Come on up, boy. Plenty of room. It's just a plane. Deep plane. Deep plane. You're very handsome. You're very handsome. You just purr the whole time. Oh, shake, shaking ringworm. Thanks. Hmm. Ugh. Oh, over my face. Mental note, do not hug Shelly. I know. <laughs> I know. Sorry to everyone at the gala last night. <laughs> Let's see, is that more? No, where are you going? I know where are you going, Well, whatever you got, I probably have now anyway, so. <laughs> it's all good. That is quite a lesion, mister, but I think I've got it good and spooked. Oh, you like that one. It's nice. Oh, go and make it. That's sticky. Are you, 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 the viewers, you guys probably thinking that I'm living the life right here. Well, there's a lot of things you don't see that are behind the scenes. Like one thing I'm doing now is like shifting left and right so I alternate Ooh. which butt cheek falls asleep. <laughs> And the smell. They don't have smell of vision. Hello. You don't have any armpit lesions. You just have ear stuff so far. Just move your litter box next to your monitor and then you can have the smell of vision. Yeah. Except for ringworm. Then you mm -hmm. need extra, extra supplies for that. Yep. Light a match occasionally, have some old eggs laying about. Yeah, rotten eggs. 
multiple rotten eggs. There we go, that's looking good. That's looking good and saturated. Maturity. Good job. What else have you got? Oh, good job. Oh. Oh. oh, I don't get it in your eyes. Uh oh. She shook it and she got little. Maturity. Just like one day they were sitting and getting without getting dressed up the first time. <laughs> Having to go through decontamination. Save me. <laughs> she seems to still be alive, so that's good. Bring bandages. Yeah. Hi, kitty. I need a band aid. You so cute. You so cute. I'm gonna get some more fish to eat for that. Come here, little one. <laughs> and glamorous life. Oh, yes. oh. Actors and actresses have to deal with paparazzis. And <laughs> we have to deal with fungus and fungus and poop. And That's food. You hear that? Oh, it's so exciting. Best part of the day. Besides all the scritchins. I know. Look how happy they are. They are very happy. Who wants a snack? Maybe a little blue wants one. You're so cute. Come have a little snack. She says, I'm on TV. Yeah. You know, last time I put food down to grab me. <laughs> Next person is on the way. Excellent. 
So this is like a full time deal for you. Okay. All day. Every day. Seven right. days a week. <laughs> the time you get up is the time you go to bed, huh? It is. It sure is. Get the food. Oh, it's snack time. Oh, let me stretch. Because I gotta get up. My legs are killing me. I know. It is, uh. The downstairs floor is the worst because it's concrete and mm -hmm. it's like you, it's cold and you're like fall asleep. Everything falls asleep. Oh, Hope, you're so comfy. What's happening to your bed? There we go. Oh, I got it. I effectively broke my knee roller skating and then I have to roll skate to keep it from hurting. Oh, that sounds like fun. Roller, broken roller skating. Yeah, did, basically did the splits like tink. <laughs> oh. And the, the, like the tendon between these two bones oh. pulled a chunk of bone off. Oh, that sounds wicked. That does not sound fun. And then I walked out to the car and <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> Walked on, walked on a broken leg. Oh, that's ridiculous. And drove home. That sounds like <laughs> a man thing to do. Kittens. Yeah, after I had the abdominal surgery for my spleen rupturing, I have, it's like I have a crazy high tolerance for pain. Oh, yeah. I guess that might do it. Oh. That was right there. Yeah. Now you're sacrificing your knee for the kitten. Yeah. Now, now, this is going to be the, the best part. Look, wake we, can, up. Look, we can do we can dismantle it. Let's, let me show you what you're gonna Oh, it's oh, with two. <laughs> you can probably step out through there while it's easy. My legs fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll move the sulfur. I, yeah, I don't trust my leg right now. Look, that was very graceful. Like this, that so way, you know. Yeah. Make that makes a lip there. Yeah. But unless unless they, they jump on it. Eventually, they will jump off there. Yeah. But well, that, we'll see. That, that might make it easier for you to swing your legs over. It would. Yeah. It would. Oh, they're so yeah. sleepy now. If this is a problem, you could probably like cut right here, so it's just a little bit. What I need to do is drill a hole in one of these to put the camera through, so I don't have to do all that taping. Uh-huh. That's on the list. I have a, I have a drill that I'm going to use. It was wonderful meeting you guys. Yes, it was. You guys are totally adorable. They are. I totally adorable. Now I'm going to go home and tell Marticia, give birth. I know. No. <laughs> We are go. It's go time. <laughs> I didn't move her over. Cause she's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. You guys need more. I'll have to come and give you more bedding. This is brilliant how you did this here too. I like to see the little crack there. I'm like, what's back there? The little alcove? Yeah. It's very civilized. It's very civilized. Kittens. Thanks for coming to give them snuggles. My pleasure. They're pretty adorable. Yes, they are. Pretty adorable. So the protocol is... Get this, leave your gloves on and take this stuff off. Like, come over here and do it. And then you put that in there. And then, like, you step... Technically, you don't want anything dirty to step outside. But it's not... Can you pull down with that? You're too tall. <laughs> oh yeah, see, it's either not as, as billowy on you as they are on us. And that goes in there, and then goes off. And goes somewhere near the... So it's okay and you don't want to step on here in your, in your... Well, if you're going to throw your sock away, then it doesn't matter. Right. But Still if, got boobies. Do you want... Do you want... You can, you can exchange your socks for new boobies if you don't want to go sockless. These are brand oh. new. Okay, so but you take these off now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you, yeah, that's fine. So go. Yeah, just, yeah, you got me. Yeah. I forgot my hat. Yeah, exactly. See, this is good. And 